So it's no surprise that uh, Christ and Mary Magdalene want to talk about the winds of change. Greetings, it is I, Christ. My, my Mary is here as well. I wish to speak about the winds of change. As you move forward into the fall season, know that changes are upon each of you as you allow yourself to move forward into this new season of your lives. Mary will speak about the power of the wind of change and how we shall work together collectively to hold more love and light for all who are ready to move forward into the next phase of their lives. Today is a powerful day of change as you shift from one level of your vibrational frequency into a higher dimensional frequency, holding more love and light. Your light bodies are affecting so many to shift from fear to love. We applaud you for allowing yourselves to be the change you wish to see. Shall we begin? Greetings, dear one. Yes, it is I, Mary Magdalene. As I step into your energy field, I bow to each of you. And I thank you for each holding your light as purely and as proudly and as lovingly as each of you are able to bring this frequency of divine love onto our planet. As Jeshua had said, the winds of change are upon us. There will be many change in these coming times, and it's not for you to be frightened. They are positive changes. They are changes of grand proportion. Each of you individually and collectively, will be able to feel these changes within your own individual lives as the power that is now being brought forth upon this planet in the light, in the love, and in the transformational frequencies that are creating what we call the season of moving forward has already begun. It is if you may say the light workers are merging forward, are marching forward as the frequencies as we have spoken about before of holding your light so that true, positive, loving change can be brought to this planet. It has already occurred on an energetic level the vibrational frequencies that you are now feeling, the excitement, the anticipation that each of you are holding within your very essence. Can you feel perhaps a sense inside of yourself that that which you have been destined to bring forward into this incarnation is now at your fingertips? Is that, as they say, the cusp of the dawning of a new day. And so today, as you allow yourself to feel this strength and this power and this divine wisdom that is held within the very essence and the very core of your being, I ask you now to breathe in this frequency and feel the love. Breathe in this frequency and feel the love allowing this powerful frequency of divine love that is now being emitted on this planet most powerfully, most exponentially, most joyfully to be felt within your very heart. And so today I shall lead you now deeper into what we call your own individual winds of change, allowing yourself now to move forward from fear to love, allowing the transformational light and the transformational love that you were holding most powerfully, most exponentially to now move forward. And so I ask each of you to take a deep, deep, deep inhaling breath and simply breathe in the vibration of love. Breathe in the vibration of love. Breathe in the vibration of love. Holding the space of love first for yourself and then on to the world. So breathe, my children, breathe. Breathe in the power of love. Breathe in the power of love. Breathe in the power of love. Holding the space of love as you hold this frequency and allow 
your fear to be diminished. Allow the light that you hold and the power that you hold and the peace that you hold and the transformational change as a change maker, as a light worker, as a peacemaker, now to be felt in what we call this higher dimensional frequency of light and love and peace that is now transcending each of you individually and upon our beloved planet. Just in the days when Jeshua and I lived 2,000 years ago, we were able to raise our frequency above what you would call the lower based frequencies of our time and be able to transcend our own consciousness into higher dimensional frequencies and to be able to hold the light and create the template of peace, love, and divine holy sacred union for this planet. And so now at this time, the power that you hold in your own thought form to create and to manifest and to make whole the ability to shapeshift, to bring forth the change that you wish to see upon the planet, to bring forth, as we call, the winds of change that will allow you, as a powerful light worker, to make a difference, to create and manifest. As you allow your mission to step forward, the winds of change, the power of the wind is behind each of you. The power of the wind is before you. The power of the wind is upon you. As if you are now being what we call transitioned into another level of your soul journey. And so I ask you, dearest children of the light, to simply take a deep breath and once again breathe in the love, breathe in the light, breathe in the peace, breathe in the tranquility of divine change. This is another level, as they say, from the work that Jeshua and I did 2,000 years ago. So much is constantly changing, as you know. So much is shifting in the vibrational frequencies of human consciousness. And despite what you see upon your earth plane, the winds of change are indeed most powerful. They are most potent. And so allow yourself to feel this essence and this presence of peace upon your own soul. Feeling the connection to your higher self. Feeling the connection to your own innate wisdom. And trusting that this lifetime, this incarnation, you shall master your soul mission. You shall master your soul journey. You shall master the essence of what you came into this lifetime to do without fear, trepidation, or anything or anyone stopping you. You are the change makers. You are the peacemakers. You are our children of the light that are working so diligently, so powerfully, so potently to be the change we all wish to see. And so this is why we applaud you and we thank you, and we anoint you. And today, with your permission, may I touch your third eye and open up your all-seeing eye. May I open your third eye, placing a blessing and a healing upon your own soul. As I bless you, I honor you, and I thank you for your due diligence and your devotion and your commitment to the great design, the great design that Joshua and I brought forward, bringing love, light, and peace onto this planet. Those times were difficult when we lived 2,000 years ago, but so many were not as awakened as you all are now. And so again, as you know, we had to struggle through the darkness, the heaviness of the earth, the heaviness of the emotions, the fear, and we were able to transcend that to leave what we call our droplets, our pearls of wisdom into the hearts of so many. 
and as you know, as a part of the Essene community of light. It was a difficult time for all of us, hiding in many ways behind our own truth and our own power, where we could not fully express the truth of who we are. And yet now there is a vibrational shift that allows a transcendence to occur so that the truth can be exposed and that your individual truth and your individual mission can step forward. And so now at this time, that as you enter into this state of grace, that there is a period, as we say, of incubation that is occurring upon this planet. What I mean by this is that Mother Gaia is ready now to truly honor and support the frequencies upon her earth plane once again. The living energy of Mother Gaia in many ways has had to hold, we call hold her tongue, so to speak, to allow these lower vibrational frequencies to play themselves out upon the surface of her back. And so simply all are free Mother Gaia is free. Humanity is free. The winds of change now are blowing through. All are free. That Mother Earth's journey and ascension and each of your journeys, your individual soul pathways are simply free. You do not have to hide. You don't have to be afraid. You do not have to worry or ponder. You are free. And truly may the love of God surround you, the power of God protects you, the presence of God God watches over you wherever you are. God is and all is well. You are free, you are free, you are free. And so honor the light that you carry and simply take a deep breath and honor yourself. Perhaps you're going to feel this release, as they say, as if there have been chains around you, living in bondage. It just simply is another level of an energetic freedom that is happening today on your day of September 2nd, 2024. Freedom. And you may say, why have we been held in bondage energetically? It is simply because the consciousness and the energy frequencies upon this planet were not able to receive the pureness of God's living light in its fullest fullness. And so for each of you individually, you will step out of what you call your own way and be able to express yourself, your work, your mission, in full force, without fear, without trepidation, with an understanding that all is in order and all is as it should be, that no one or nothing can stop you or again, just like a green light, will allow you to move forward. And truly, time is of the essence, and there is no time to waste. Time is of the essence, and there is no time to waste. The power of the sacred feminine has beautifully been received on the third dimensional frequency of this earth plane. As if the power of the sacred mother has come through and down from the heavens at her frequency has been received as an overlay of divine love, compassion, sacred mercy, and peace. And if each of you can feel this frequency in the very root core of your being, you will know how to navigate your lives and no longer live in fear. So we ask you to embody the frequency of divine mother, divine Sophia, and to call in these higher vibrational frequencies into every particle, every atom, every electron, every molecule of your being, that you're holding the frequency of Divine Mother, that you're holding, as they say, the template, as Joshua and I did 2,000 years ago. You're holding this new template upon the earth plane. We are supporting you. We are guiding you. We are with you. We are all holding this powerful frequency together. The Essenes will explain more tomorrow at your gathering. But today, 
It is about each of you helping you to bring it in individually that you're operating from a new frequency, a new template, a new blueprint, operating from a new etheric blueprint that the energy is supporting your own template, your own blueprint. Life, as you know, it has its twists and turns, but there always is a journey back home to the truth of your own spiritual pathway. And as you were devoted and you were committed and you were loved and you were served, you were being supported in this completion of your sacred journey. Once again, I repeat, time is of the essence and there is no time to waste. Time is of the essence and there is no time to waste. Time is of the essence and there is no time to waste. And once again, breathe in what we call the winds of change. Breathing into your heart. Breathing into your heart. Breathing into your heart. And allow, as they say, your path to no longer control you. Your light bodies are shining brightly through your vessel. The wisdom keepers that you are, the way showers, the messengers, the peacemakers that you are are shining brightly through you. And as our dear friend always says, to be seen, be heard, be recognized. For the power that you hold, the light that you hold, and the potency of the pure love and light that you are holding. This is a day of resurrection. You are being resurrected in your energy frequencies into another level that allows you to move forward with grace and ease. And once again, may the love of God surround you, the power of God protects you, the presence of God watches over you. Wherever you are, God is and all is well. Except this day, as the wind of change is upon you. Except this day, as you honor the divinity of who you truly are. And accept and honor and allow yourself to receive this beautiful gift as you are shifting from one vibration into another as your beautiful divine blueprint becomes stronger and stronger and stronger as you move forward into your mission with grace and ease, with comfort and joy, and accept and allow yourself to receive upon this day the blessings that are bestowed upon you it is an honor and a privilege to be with you upon this day, to be the messenger, to help each of you to embody and to embrace the winds of change as you stepped into your new divine blueprint. And how this looks for each of you shall be different, but accept it as our gift to you for your devotion, your commitment, and your love on to us, and on to the great creator. Mother Gaia thanks you. We all thank you as you allow yourself to receive this beautiful gift today of the winds of change that are upon your soul. Go now, my children, prepare yourself to receive. Prepare yourself to receive. Prepare yourself to receive. Honor the light that you are. Honor the peace that you are out of the joy that you are. Prepare yourself to receive. We thank you, beautiful Mary Magdalene. We thank you, Jeshua. We thank you, Mother Gaia. We thank all the beings of light to have stepped forward to assist us upon this day as we are grateful for the element of wind that allows us to now move forward into our true soul mission and to be able to complete that which we have come on this planet to do. We thank you, Father, Mother God, we are grateful for this opportunity to serve and to be served. And this we give our grace, and so it is.